Hey guys, I've got a 21 Toyota Highlander that, uh, yeah, pretty easy window really, but we're going to do this one where we call bottom loading. And so to bottom load, we have to take this seal out in the bottom of the door panel, the gasket. And I'm going to do that because this is really a shorter area up here. And so if we did it traditional two-step where uh, on my other videos, some of them you'll see we tent the top of the door, the window, then we roll it up and get the bottom. But it makes it a little bit harder the smaller it is here in the front. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to roll my window down. And then I'll start by taking the cover off here. Uh, this just should pop out right here. We'll put it in the floorboard. And then also uh, right here, they have a little pick tool that I'm gonna take uh, the cover off right here and get it out of the way. And there is one Phillips head screw right here. So now this panel uh, should just pop right back. Let's take and, oh, see, already pretty loose here. So easy enough. Let's see what we have going on here. Uh, all good don't need to do anything and so let's pull this out from up here and just see how hard it is for me to get it started and to pull it out i'll pull it out from this end because uh back here in the back You'll see there's a, uh, got this one out in the back right down here. There's a, another piece that we want to put this back together, of course, uh, when we slide it back in. So, yeah, that was pretty easy. Uh, one thing that we don't have to do now is we don't have to shrink the window, the film because we are bottom loading. And even though uh, the bottom loading, it kind of reduces the tension uh, so we can get any of uh, that, the bubbles that might be here, uh, we can spread those out because we are doing the bottom load. So even though it's a brand new car, I went ahead and cleaned my seal out a little bit this is a laminated glass so always remember on a laminated piece of glass that uh, we don't want to heat up any one area uh, or we could bust that window the laminate and you can tell the laminate up here at the top you'll see where there's like two pieces of glass put together right up here so, got it kind of wiped down so I can see what I'm doing. And let's come in here and clean it. And again, uh, you on a new car, uh, you can probably uh, get away with not using a razor blade. But, uh, you know, as a window tenner, uh, we're all different and uh, I just, you know, for 40 years, I've been using a razor blade. So I continue to use a razor blade. Uh, you could take a white scrunchy pad, real low abrasive and, and do the same thing uh, as far as cleaning it now. Uh, I have, I keep a rag in my shirt or a pocket and this is a real, real, real clean, I call it a clean, clean, uh, towel, cotton, and 
I just clean back in there so that there will not be any dirt. And let's see, we're wiping that top. Uh, we didn't really get much dirt, but uh, that's okay because we checked. And if there had been dirt, it would have came off of there now. Uh, always check your window. Read your writing here to make sure that the car doesn't have a special coating that the uh, razor blade would damage. Uh, this one doesn't. I do a lot of these cars. So memory, which sometimes memory doesn't work for me, but in this case it does. I think there's a sale on these cars because we're getting a lot of them in. So have the window clean. I'm going to roll it back down just a skosh and a skosh is about that much. And since I had it rolled up to clean the bottom, wipe my squeegee and I'm going to come in here and just clean it again. If you watch my videos, you'll see that, uh, man, I clean my windows a lot and I'm going to have a video soon on just cleaning windows and we'll show some different ways to clean. Now also I have a five gallon pressurized tank uh, and I have my soapy water solution made to my preference and my preference really depends on the weather. Uh, when it's hot, I'll use more soap in here. This is a computer cut pattern. I, uh, the machine cut it. I've already got the extra film, the frit around that pattern. So let's go, I've got it removed. So let's go ahead and spray our window and back in here and here. That just makes sure it's plenty wet to slide the film back in the seal. And down here, a little bit of extra water to wash anything off in the bottom. Now, not going to have to shrink this window, not necessary, because we're bottom loading. So, I pull the liner completely off and be sure and throw those liners uh, in the floorboard or in your trash. And again, don't touch the film uh, with your flat fingers. I keep a couple of long fingernails so that when I'm, when I'm moving my film around, uh, I'm not getting skin particles or anything. So right here, I put the bottom in first, hence bottom loading and now i'm sliding it down carefully and it is just about there so now i will line up my top edge the way that i want and this is going to move around so what i'll do is i'll come in and squeegee a little bit to get it not moving as much. And then I wanna come in and get it again. And I'm kinda holding it here or uh, with this other hand so I can feel if it moves on me. And <laughs> the pattern's cut pretty tight. So before I get to the point where I'm going to really get it to where it's not moving. Uh, let's check, but this looks really good to me. It's just a really small micro gap, and uh, I still have water to get out, so I'm taking uh, a easy reach tool, and I'm kind of going to go down that side, and I'll come across and again I keep uh, watching to make sure that it's not going to move. Now if you see uh, the car itself and just keep your door panels 
wipe down as you're working to a, uh, you know, you can cover them a lot of times if I'm, when I'm bottom loading, I don't worry so much about covering the panel because it's not gonna get as wet. But also, since it is a rainy day here, uh, the, the glass, everything's cold and wet, so I'm gonna come in with heat. Now you don't have to, uh, you don't have to have the torch. You can use your heat gun, but uh, candy is dandy and liquor is quicker, right? Meaning I could go get my heat gun and let it warm up and do the same thing but uh, my torch, boom, already hot. And so uh, I just used the torch and, and you saw, I didn't really, I didn't focus on it much. I just barely warmed that glass up. And now, and what I did that so that this isn't gonna move a whole lot on me. And now, Top is done. Let's go ahead and roll the window up. Spray a little bit of water so that my squeegee will slip. And I'm pressing pretty hard with this squeegee. And you see these bubbles down here now. And remember, we did not shrink it. So bottom loading, I think for, uh, for you guys that are uh, uh, guys and girls that are just getting started, you uh, you might want to uh, bottom load because bottom loading is that's uh, eh, not. I mean, yeah, you got to take the door panel, some of the parts off of it, but uh, not a big thing. Uh, there are, yeah, you know. Golly, we're, we're living in the age of the internet, and uh, so everything's on the internet. If you don't know how to specifically remove the panel uh, or the trim, you know, you might look at this video on YouTube and go, hey, I'm getting ready to do this Highlander. Let's watch Stan, because that's how you do it, okay? And that's how I learned uh, how to do this was I watched a video. Uh, so here we go. Uh, the middle of the window, I've got it just like I want it. And I'm gonna, I can get down in there because I have plenty of room. All right. And I'm getting the water out from the very, very bottom. And Boom, window looks pretty good. I'm gonna come over here and look and make sure that everything looks good before I go any further looking for anything I might need to fix or if I accidentally got something on there, which this one looks good. So let's go ahead now guys and Put it back together and to put it together we're just gonna wipe this door panel off again <laughs> so we are gonna roll our window down this is still loose and we will take our uh, the part that we took out here and we orientate what we want. Remember we the way we want, we pulled this out a uh, while ago. And so we pulled this part out separately. So we wanna get this back together. And I believe it's gonna be easier to, up here in the front on the Highlander, uh, it's pretty pretty easy just to drop the front in. So I am gonna pull back on the door panel and slide this puppy in here and under, there's a little trim piece down in here. So I've got it now 
And you see, this, this is like way easy. I just dropped it in there. Uh, now, uh, door panel will pop back together. And let's, uh, let's roll this window up just to make sure that uh, the window looks good, right? So far, so good. You know, you don't want to sometimes roll your window down if you're two staging uh, right after you tin it. But with by doing it this way, it's below that trim. Let's put it back together. So this will go right here. And I have one Phillips head that goes here. And then the cover goes back on. We'll hear it snap. There we go. That's the sound of being finished. Okay, so guys, that was really uh, by pulling the trim out, which, you know, one screw, uh, man, it made the job easier and especially if you're not a uh, real experienced, uh, it eliminated any little uh, dirt or what we call a changeover crease here. And door panel looks good. Always, always, always pay close attention to these door panels. This is a brand new vehicle. And by golly, it's done. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if this kind of stuff interests you. And we'll see you again on some other videos. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.